you have for me today? Your Majesty, Herr Mozart. Yes, what about it? He's here. Aha. Well, there it is. Good. Your Majesty, I hope you won't find it improper, but I've written a little march of welcome in his honor. What a charming idea, court composer. May I see? Just a, well, just a trifle, of course. May I try it? Majesty. Let's have some fun. Delightful court composer. May I play it when he comes in? You do me too much honor, sire. Bring in Herr Mozart, please. Play slowly, slowly. I need a minute to practice. Very good, Majesty. Tempo. Up. Lightly, then strongly. It's a march, Majesty. March. Again. Majesty. Ah, no, please, please. It's not a holy relic. <laughs> you know, we have met before in this very room. Perhaps you don't remember it. You were only six years old. He was giving the most delightful concert here. As he got off the stool, he slipped and fell. My own sister, Antoinette, helped him up. And you know what he did? He jumped into her arms and said, Will you marry me, yes or no? <laughs> You know all these gentlemen, I'm sure. The Baron Van Sweeten. I'm a great admirer of yours, young man. Oh, thank you. Capelmeister Bono. Signore. My pleasure. The director of our opera, Count Orsini Rosenberg. Oh, sir, yes, the honor is mine, absolutely. And here is our illustrious court composer, Maestro Salieri. At last. Such immense joy, diletto straordinario. I know your work well, signore. Do you know I, I actually composed some variations on a melody of yours? Oh, really? Which ones? Mio caro e donne. Well, I'm flattered. A funny little tune, but it yielded some good things. And now he has returned the compliment. Herr Salieri composed this little march of welcome for you. Really? Oh, grazie, signore. Sono commossa. Well, there it is. Now, down to business. Young man, we're going to commission an opera from you. What do you say? Majesty. Uh, did we vote in the end for German or Italian? Well, actually, sire, if you remember, we did finally incline to Italian. Uh, did we? I don't think it was really decided, Your Majesty. Oh, German. 
German, please, let it be German. Why so? Because I've already found the most wonderful libretto. Oh, have I seen it? I, uh, I don't think you have, Herr Director. Not yet. I mean, it's quite new. I'll show it to you immediately, of course. I think you'd better. Well, uh, tell us about it. Tell us the story. Well, it's quite amusing, Majesty. It, it, it's set. The, the, the whole thing is set in, 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 uh, in, in, uh, Yes. Where? In a harem, Majesty. In a seraglio. <laughs> you mean in Turkey? Yes, exactly. Then why especially does it have to be in German? Well, it doesn't especially. It could be in Turkish if you really want. <laughs> now, my dear fellow, the, the language is not finally the point. Do you really think that subject is quite appropriate for a national theater? Why not? It's charming. I mean, I, I, I won't actually show concubines exposing their, their... <laughs> it's not indecent. It's highly moral, Majesty. It's, it's, it's full of proper German virtues. Excuse me, Majesty, but uh, what do you think these could be? Uh, being a foreigner, I would love to learn. Well, tell him, Mozart, name us a German virtue. Love, sire. Oh, love! Well, of course, in Italy we know nothing about love. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't think you do. I mean, watching Italian opera, all those male sopranos screeching, stupid fat couples rolling their eyes about, that's not love, it's, it's, it's just rubbish. <laughs> Majesty, you choose the language. It will be my task to set it to the finest music ever offered a monarch. Oh, there it is. Let it be German. Oh, this is yours. Keep it, Majesty, if you want. It's already here in my head. What? On one hearing only? I think so, sire. Yes. Show us. The rest is just the same, isn't it? It doesn't really work, does it? Can you try? Shouldn't it be a bit more? Or this? This. Yes. Better? What do you think? Grazie, signor. 